Hello and welcome to Keep Sales. Now in this video, we will be looking at what happens when you change the business information on Keep Sales. Okay, and how it's going to look like on your desktop application. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, so you notice I have opened the desktop app over here. I have opened the desktop app over here. All right, so this is the welcome, the welcome information, and then this is the business information. Okay, so we'll be looking at what happens when you change the business information and if it's going to be reflected here. Another place where it's also reflected is when you print um, 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 your receipts. When you've printed the receipt, the receipts will have certain information that you would want to have. So let's let's get to it. So usually business information are updated on your web on the web platform. So when you come here, you go to the main menu. That's when you've logged in. You go to the main menu. You go to user settings. You come to account permissions and profile settings. You click on manage business profile. And over here, you are able to see the, the information, the name, the contact number, the email and then uh, the location okay usually these appear on the receipt and just i think the name and the location will appear okay on your desktop app so if you want to make changes you just do it here okay and then let's say you want to change uh, the location so we've done that all right then you save changes to that again this is for business profile information so let's let's backtrack a bit uh okay so we go back to accounts permissions and profile settings all right we go to sorry we come here currency and printer settings okay you can make these changes as well so that they are reflected on the printer you come to the vat and the tin number all these are going to be reflected when you print using the desktop app okay so then you can click to activate whether the vat should be displayed you can set the vat value okay you can decide to show the vat breakdown on the receipt you can also display your tin number if you want so then you make the changes to the tin number you click on save tin number and then you indicate whether you want to display or not all right so once you've done that okay then we go to the desktop app okay so when you go to the desktop app you click on refresh business info so this is at any point in time where details of your business information change you know as a business sometimes the details of your your business information will change from time to time so when it when it happens like that you do it on the web platform then when you come to the desktop app you click on refresh business information it says that if you have made any changes in your online account to your business name location phone VAT settings or currency refreshing your information will fetch the new changes to be stored locally okay so i mean you click on okay and then it tells you that it is updated okay it doesn't reflect immediately you have to close it and then let's restart it again okay and you notice that over here all right the the, the location that we, we we made changes to is reflected here okay and then when you are new transaction okay and then you are you are printing you are selling with receipt you notice that all those uh changes that you made okay will reflect in your receipt okay when you print out okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video there are more of such amazing videos available for you so do well to check them all out i'll see you again in our next video have a wonderful time and bye bye